Okay, I hope, I hope this works. I was watching um, someone else go live and they were having issues too. So, <clears throat> I hope, I hope that this worked and that our glitch issues are all done. We'll wait for some people to join. Hearts. Okay. So thank you for showing some hearts and thumbs up. I don't see anyone on the live. <laughs> um, hearts and thumbs up. Okay. I changed a couple things on my end. I don't see comments. Of course, right? Technology. Um, we're still here. Yay. Okay. So I don't see the number of people watching. So I hope all 50 or 51 are back. It's working for me. We're back. Okay. All right, so here's Taylor's brownies. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, I hope you guys thought that was funny. Okay, yay! All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around now, and we are going to get started. Okay. The color in the chocolate chips. So, let's get moving. And so colorful and so fun um, that... I wanted to show you that they really are huge beaked birds that are so pretty in the tropics. So we are going to draw that. Um, I have my paper in landscape mode. So um, you can put yours to landscape mode also. It's still glitching. Ah! Shoot. I don't know what to do. Does anybody have does anybody have any experience with dealing with glitchy stuff? We have been so extremely blessed that all our other videos have been just fine. And on your favorite one? Wow. On your okay. favorite one. I know, on my favorite one. Oh, seriously? There you go. Okay. Let's try papers. It's like, just grab one out of there. So we're gonna start, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm really sorry if something's glitchy. Um, maybe check on your phone if you have your video streaming maybe too high. Try the 700 something. Um, someone else said maybe close the page and open it back up. That's a good idea. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna get going and hopefully maybe the replay will be better. Again, I'm so sorry. Um, maybe you can try something on, on your end. I'm good here. I don't have any more messages, so we'll get going. So I'm going to come down to the middle of my page, and I'm going to draw a big, huge arc, and that is going to be my beak. Mom, can you help me? Yeah, here. Sorry. It's hard. Taylor's climbing up on the table over here. Okay. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so we you have your pen? Pants. Okay, so we've got our beak. Now we're gonna draw a straight line down. And we're gonna come all the way over. And if your beak doesn't match up, no big deal. Just bring it down to match it up. All right, then we're gonna draw Shoot, it just gave me that thing again. We're gonna draw the body. We're gonna come up and around for the head. And back down. I'm drawing my toucan super huge. I always tend to draw really big. And we're gonna come back, we're gonna start over here. And we're gonna come down and around and we're gonna match this area up. So this is our belly, this is our head and our body. Hi Brody and Blake. All right, so now we are going to draw our eye. We're gonna draw a nice big circle for our eye. We're gonna draw another little tiny circle inside.
and we're going to color that in but leave that little tiny circle open. Don't fill that in. How are you doing, Taylor? Doing good. Okay, we're going to draw a circle around that eye. And another circle around that eye. So Basically, our toucan's yeah. got a big eye. Basically one eye. <laughs> yeah. Why are you saying okay. a bunch of eyes? So the, the, the um, head of the toucan's really colorful. So we're going to draw, go around the eye and around. Nice, big, huge arc. You're going to leave a big area for the arc of the bird. Yep. Now we're going to add on the tail. Okay. So from this point, we're going to come all the way up. And if you have room for a bigger tail, you draw a bigger tail. All the way up and around. And then back up again and around. Back up again. And around you can come right but to that spot all right now our birdie needs some feet so we're gonna draw two lines down or one leg and then we're gonna draw the claws and we're gonna draw them at an angle because we're gonna have our little curve because it's gonna curve around a branch and the branch is around right we're gonna come back up for one claw and then back around at a curve to another claw and kind of come back up a little bit narrow there and then we're going to draw the back claw on there so we're going to come to the back and then come back up and the back claw isn't as long as the front claw but you draw your claws however you want them to okay and we're going to add in the next leg so we've got another leg here so two lines straight down, and then we're going to curve another claw, and back. And if at any point you your lines intersect with the first claw that you've drawn, just stop at that line, because that claw is behind. Okay, so I'm going to draw another claw and come back up, and I'm going to stop right there at my line. I'm not going to go through there because the claw is sitting back. And then I'm going to draw the back part and just finish it. Okay? Alright. Loving all the hearts. Thank you all so much for sending the love. There's nothing worse than trying to do live with all of our friends joining us and there's tech issues. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Okay, so now we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw some of our foliage, foliage, mm -hmm. our plants. <laughs> In the tropics, they have so, all sorts of huge, bright leaves. So we're gonna draw some of those in. I put some like ferny looking things down here on the bottom and it's just a big arc and a big arc back. And then you just keep adding. You can add some shorter, some longer. You can add some from behind. Just adding, you can add some if you want to go behind here and behind here. You can do that. Just stop at those marks. And then that way this one is in front of that one. Awesome. Now let's draw some flowers. So, I'm going to draw a big, huge flower up here in the corner. Now, remember, all of your drawings and all of your artwork is your artwork. If you want to draw a flower up in the corner with me, then by all means, draw the flower in the corner. But if you want to draw a flower on top of his head or over here in the side or up anywhere else on your paper, you do it. You would get to do your artwork however you want them, however you want it to be, and that is awesome. So for this particular flower, I'm going to do kind of a triangle. I'm going to wave, wave my little petals a little bit. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Sam. Thank you for joining us today. And I'm going to do that all.
I did make these flowers yesterday on our sloths, huh? Mm -hmm. And if you want to add another layer to that, then you absolutely can. You can come in from the middle of this one, wave the flower around, come there. There you go, now you've got a double layer flower. Of course, you can draw all sorts of flowers all other ways, mm -hmm. and I'll show a couple more. Let's put our little flower creases in here. It's just a, a little line coming from the center of your flower out. And how about some little curly things? I'm going to draw a little vine that's kind of curled coming out of there. And maybe a leaf that's coming out of this side. So I'm going to draw my, my stem of my leaf and then come out here, draw one side and then one side. Mama. You want to put the little veins in there? Yes, Tay? Um, I want you to show them. And then you can do that. Taylor wants you to see hers so far. There is Taylor's. Looking she has good. Eyelashes. Yeah, she's got eyelashes and a bow. All right, and then maybe another leaf over here. So I'm going to draw my stem, draw my curved line, and then my curved line again. And then I'm going to add in the veining for my leaf. All right, let's draw some more flowers. I'm going to draw another flower down here. I'm going to draw a different kind of flower down here. So I'm starting with my center. I'm going to draw bigger, more oblong flower petals. Kind of like a daisy. But inside of these, I'm going to draw another smaller center. There goes your brown marker. <laughs> Another smaller center. Everyone still with us? I hope so. Yay, okay. So we're drawing the center in this flower. And I think I'm going to do some dots inside there. You can do whatever you want inside yours. And then I'm going to add some little curly cues. Because why not? They're fun. Maybe I'm going to add a smaller little flower down here. I'm going to add maybe the triangle type flower down here, a smaller one. Maybe a leaf. So you can draw your flowers wherever you want them to be. Maybe I'll draw some vein leaves. are kind of like teardrops. You can start big at the end. And then as you get closer to the tip, they kind of get smaller. Those are kind of fun. And you know, toucans like to eat berries, so let's add some berries. Maybe there's maybe there's another fern coming in here. I draw another one of those spiky little ferns. And then maybe from there, there's some berries. So I'm going to draw a line down for the stem. Maybe another line down for the stem. And then on our berries, we'll draw a little circle. And we'll put a little dot at the end. Okay. 
So it just kind of shows them as like a berry instead of a cherry. Toucans like to eat berries. So you can fill your page up with all of your greenery and all the flowers that you want. I'm going to put some more berries here maybe. Sorry, Christina. Try and slow down a little bit. But we're just filling our paper right now with berries and flowers and, and um, some leaves. Maybe I'll put another leaf over here. Coming off. All right, so are we ready for our tree? Should we put our tree in there? Our tree branch? Maybe I'll stick another, stick another big leaf over here. I like to fill up my page. All right. Oh, no problem, <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so we have flowers, we have leaves, we've got some vines, we've got some big, um, I don't know, they're not really ferns, but big tropical greenery coming in. Now we're going to add our branch. So Taylor wants to show hers. Here's hers. So cute. And your berries are fabulous. So now we're going to draw our tree branch in. So we're going to start here where the feet are. We're going to come up just above them. We're going to draw our line out. Now, if you run into any of your greenery, don't go through them. We're going to draw the next part of the branch down below. You'll just carry these lines. Just envision them going through your flowers, right? We're not going to go through them through your flowers and out the other end. And maybe my branch comes up here and I have another little part that comes off and then my tree goes off like that. So you can add some other things too. Okay, all right. So if you wanna add any more flowers, any more berries, any more greenery or vines, go for it. If you want to section off part of your beak into different sections, like the toucan has these really neat little um, markings on their beak right here, you can draw those in if you want. So maybe I will. I didn't in my sample, but maybe I will right now. They're kind of like little squiggly lines. If you want to draw a rainbow beak and you want to separate your beak out into rainbow sections or if you want to do some designs in your toucan beak, you do that. And I am going to put on some music and we are going to color ours in. We're going to use a mixture of markers and crayons. Everything. And watercolors, but whatever you have at home, you use. So, I'll put this down a little bit and maybe I'll try and move it over so you can watch Taylor. And we will put some music on. I can't wait to see all the birds. 
Um, so thank you all so much for sharing your artwork once you're finished. We love going back and looking at um, everyone's different take on their drawing. So it's so fun. I think I'm going to start with my black first. Something must be going on hokey again because my music's not working. Probably turn it up. <laughs> Maybe I won't start with black. Maybe I'm going to give my toucan a bright blue eye. I think I'm going to give him a bright blue eye. For everyone who has given us a shout out and sent me a personal message telling you how much your kids enjoy this, thank you so much. Um, we really do appreciate it. It is a lot of fun for Taylor and I to make art and it's even more fun sharing um, with others. So thank you so much for enjoying this and for definitely reaching out and letting us know. Yes. There you go. I'll put it up here. Now remember, you don't have to do exactly like the toucan, but they have the most beautiful beaks. So colorful and fun. drawing tomorrow, Taylor. I forgot. We're going to do a, this this? It's just a different marker. Um, what about a sea turtle? Mm. Can we do a sea turtle tomorrow? Sure. I think we might be doing a sea turtle tomorrow. Um, the drawing might look difficult, but it's not. Hey, Taylor, I said hi. Wendy says hi. <laughs> hi. So pretty. I'm gonna paint my toucan black. You wanna paint it back? I used a crayon and it worked a lot better. I tried using this at first and it just wasn't as pretty. It didn't because you could see all the things. Danielle wants to see yours. Just one second, she's coloring in the body. You can kind of see her beak there. And then she'll totally show hers. I hope you all are having a really great day today. Our weather is crazy. Hail, sunshine, thunder, 
cloud, black clouds on one side of the house and sun on the other side of the house. There has to be a rainbow <laughs> somewhere. It's been wild weather. Um, I have family who live in Idaho, and if anybody of you know anybody who lives in Idaho, or if you're joining us from Idaho, we had an earthquake yesterday. Luckily, um, all of my friends and family are fine, but man, oh, wild how bad times. It was. Yeah, like a 6.4 or something. Wild times. 6.3. 6.3? Yeah. Something. It's crazy. Okay. okay, here's Taylor's so far. Doing good, now you got your tail. I'm totally into these striped leaves, in case you can't tell. <laughs> Barely felt it in Blackfoot. Man. You know, yesterday, something randomly fell off the um, bookcase over here, and I was like, oh, that's weird, because nobody was in here with me. And then I heard, and I was like, did we just have an earthquake? <laughs> But I didn't feel a thing and nothing moved. And then like four hours later, I heard that Idaho had an earthquake. Um, I really don't think that we felt it here in Vancouver, but it was just really weird that that happened. And I still haven't really found what fell off. Oh, Erica, I hope everything's okay with your relatives and their friends. I haven't been following news at all, so um, I don't know what what all happened because of it. You're welcome, Erica. Of course. What color are you going to make your berries, Tay? Pink. Pink. Can I keep color this by my that? side? Yeah. Because I'll need You like it. that color? Yeah, I'll need it in a set. This is my favorite color. <laughs> I love lime green. Well, you also love magenta. Lime green and magenta. If I could pick. And yellow. To hang out with any two colors. Yeah, I do love yellow too. I would pick those two. Mm -hmm. Yes, she would.
Okay. You're welcome. Is that Kaden thanking us for doing this painting? Yellow is my favorite color. Yes, I do like yellow. Anytime we play a game and there's a color game piece to choose, I am yellow. <laughs> well, if there's magenta, then you probably pick magenta. Yeah, but not. there's no game pieces have magenta. Well, some. Some? I don't know. I any know of a them. game that has magenta. And it's because I love the sun so much. Yellow reminds me of the sunshine. Oh, Emma. Yay! I can't wait to see yours, Emma. Thank you for thanking us. We miss you guys. Is this your favorite one? Yeah, I really like it. It's that one. Oh, okay. It is pretty. Markers are going out. Yeah, I'm supposed to just use them for small places. Call me Ava. Hi, Ava. Oh, you're welcome, Chrissy. Thank you, Stacy. Jolene says, "Great job, Taylor." Thanks. should give you regular cardstock because you're not doing much watercolor painting on there. All this other stuff is mm -hmm. going to be watercolor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mine's pink in the middle, and yours is purple in the middle. But uh, we're doing the different middles. So it's a little different color purple, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go over it with that purple. I use this one. Mm -hmm. You can test the markers out, and you can see what color they are. Sometimes the caps don't really resemble the actual color that comes out of the tip, huh? Yeah. I know. But they try to. Yeah. That actually kind of is the Did everybody same. have fun drawing the toucan? Yes. I was looking forward to this one, I think, the most. <laughs> I think birds are so fun. And of course, birds that are super bright. The funnest. Are more fun. Yeah. 
Hannah. So fun. Yay. Yes. Yay. Awesome. sure you don't use too much water. some noises. Yeah. It's okay. Mm -hmm. In the tropical rainforest, mm -hmm. it's like green sky. In the, the background, green background. It's green. Yeah. I'm gonna make mine green. That's probably just the background of their thing. I don't think that's really the background of the forest. Just so the bird shows up, maybe. But it's a real picture. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like this color. Yeah. You know, that would be pretty. Taylor looks amazing. She is an artist from the bottom of my heart. Aw, thank you, Christina. Where is Mason? He is outside. <laughs> Wendy says yours looks awesome, Taylor. Thanks. I think this would be a real pretty color. Ooh, that is pretty. You might need to water it down a little bit though to spread it. Just add water to your thing and now put it on there, yeah. Just like always. Add water and spread it around. I tried, I did try to get Mason to do this drawing with us, um, but he the tried. sun was out, <laughs> and, um, you know, how can I say, no, you have to, when he didn't really want to. I'll have him do it another time, because I think his toucan bird would be adorable. Is mine adorable? Yours is adorable. So fun. I might actually finish before you like it's I did last time. It's not a rush. Time. You gotta take your time and do your best work, huh? Mm-hmm. Just saying, and I might. have fun. Just saying, you might. Work. You might. Yes, you might. I think I'm going to draw some. The green background is the trees. It's just blurred out, so there's no detail. That's what Wendy said, too. Really blurry. It's really blurry. Did you 
forget. Oh. You can always do watercolors. There's a really pretty wine watercolor. No. No. Make more of this color. Mm. Oops. I'm, I'm supposed to do that. Through your vines? Just one line. Okay. What have your favorite um, drawings been? I'm so curious what um, your favorites have been. Toucan, Toucan? sloth, sloth was fun. Unicorn, of course. Mm, giraffe, giraffe was fun too. Mm. What were the other ones? I know about the um, llama. Oh yeah, the llama and panda. Pan, we, we haven't done a panda. Panda corn. koala and panda the panda corn. corn. And the leprechaun. Oh uh, yeah, leprechaun was fun. What was our second one? E says everything. Yay, panda, the gnome. The gnome was fun. All oh, of yeah, them. Oh yeah, and the gnome. The sloth. I like every All of them. Oh, one. cool. All of them. All of them have been fun. I just named every single one. <laughs> How did I just say all of them? Because it was more fun to name them. Yeah. <laughs> and I might have forgotten some. So. Okay. Almost finished. Almost finished? Almost. Because I have this flower. Got the color in. Oh, yeah. Well, just want it to dry. You want it then to dry all of it. Yeah. It's going to go wandering around here. It'll, it'll dry fast, honey. The llama. Oh my gosh, everyone's llamas were so cute. Is it shiny? Hmm? Is it shiny? What? My, my painting? Your flower area is probably dry. This area. Yeah, that flower area. Just that's the only thing what, but that's not in the way of your flower. Taylor forgot to color in one of her flowers, so she's waiting for her watercolor background to dry.
the llama and unicorn. nine-year-old said you were a wonderful instructor oh thank you and he was pretty sure he couldn't have drawn such amazing toucan without your instruction so sweet oh I can't wait to see your toucan finished Taylor is finished it is still very wet there's hers Good job, honey. I Thanks. love it. When it's dry, sign your name, okay? Is it dry down here? You yeah. Be sure to write I'll your name on there. All righty. Well, I'm going to finish up my background. And we will say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us again today. And for posting your finished work. I just did my signature. We love seeing them. I just did my signature. Yeah. There you go. And we love that you all are enjoying art with us. Her blue is so watery. And we hope to see you here tomorrow um, to do a sea turtle. And then a kitty, a kitty after. Oh, and then a kitty after. All right, and then a kitty after. It's kind of a fun kitty with a bird on its head, huh? Mm-hmm. A silly kitty. Yeah. A little silly. Okay, now can I go to that water and start making a watercolor? <laughs> Just a second, we're gonna say goodbye. Okay. And then can I? I can show them how to do it. Um, okay. Can you read some comments? Is anybody saying anything? So cute. For a kitty. Mom. Mm -hmm. After the kitty. I'm excited almost. for a kitty picture. Alrighty. I think we're finished. All right, I'm gonna flip this around. You are so welcome. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh, let me flip this around. And we will say bye. bye. See you here tomorrow. Wait, wait, and wait, please so post your nice. pictures. I'll post Taylor's, here's Taylor's. I'll post hers um, when we are done here. All right, everybody have a really, really fabulous day. Bye. And we'll see you tomorrow.